is Juan Guaido still the best hope for the Venezuelan opposition, for the Venezuelan people? Well, Ian, let me, let me say this uh, bluntly. Sometimes I, I just don't understand when I see in, in the world sometimes questioning whether he's the right guy or the wrong guy, because Juan Guaido is the expression of, uh, of true democracy in Venezuela. And when I say true democracy, is because he was appointed by the National Assembly that is the only democratic organ, the only democratic instrument or institution that the world has recognized in Venezuela to be legitimate. But let's say it also bluntly. Juan Guaido, it's a demonstration of bravery, but we cannot expect, expect that Juan Guaido on his own, he's going to defeat a dictator that has been called recently by the UN, that we did it before, as a criminal against humanity. He has a group of, of, uh, of cronies that, that work hand in hand with the business of narco-trafficking, that don't have any respect for, for human rights. And Juan Guaido has been chased. His family has been chased. The opposition has been chased. The resistance has been imprisoned. So I think instead for us of being spectators and analysts about his uh, temper, his character, or even his bravery, I think what we should all do is give as much support as possible, not only to Juan Guaido, but to the assembly, so that four things are met. On the one hand, the dictatorship needs to end because Maduro is a criminal against humanity. I said it last year, talking with you, that he is the Latin American equivalent of Slodovan Milosevic. And it was proven this week by, last week by the UN, and even the UN referred that he should go to the interna International Criminal Court. The second thing that needs to happen is that there needs to be a transitionary government with a broad participation. It's not just the resistance, it's not just the Chavistas. They both have to sit together and they both have to lead the transitionary government so that there is a call for a free election. And there needs to be an agreement for that free election that whoever wins, it could be the resistance, it could be the Chavistas, whoever wins will have the support of the other side so that we can put together a, a national economic and social recovery plan. I think that should be the, 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 the plan that we all have to work to put together in Venezuela.